My name is Rafi Mediavilla from criticologos.com. Moises, thank you for taking the time to talk about the series and congratulations. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Hey, um, I gotta say that I love what the production design did with the set, with setting up the set and making this 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 video game to live. And and I wanna I wanna ask you how, how what was going through your mind when you put on the Voltex suit and you you come into the set for a day of filming? What happened, what happened to your mind? Well, luckily there was a quite a bit of preparation and and uh, and talks and rehearsals before then. If it was just like, "Hey, how you doing? I'm Moises. Here's your suit. Here's the, it," would have been too much to handle. Um, I I think that, like you said, the production designers and the and really everyone that that had a hand in in creating this world, not, most of it was practical. Everything I saw in real life, um, I didn't have to pretend like you know, the screens in our vault were showing scenes of explosions like I was seeing these things or that these enormous uh, stages where my my sister opens a vault door, um, those were actual enormous doors. So um, that the, the ability to see these things and react to them is really important. Norm obviously is a character for the TV series, not from the video game. But I wonder what, what, how familiarized were you with the video games, and what were you able to take from the video games and and put in your character? Uh, I think, you know, having the ability to create a an original story in such a rich and 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 dense and huge world that is Fallout uh, was very special. I think I wouldn't say I took anything specifically besides um, what I saw in, in, in these stages, in these vaults, because that's sort of what you would think a vault dweller would experience. Um, just knowing things on, on the page and on the screen maybe, but not in, in real life. So um, I, I went into it sort of that way, sort of um, ignorant for lack of a better explanation. I got two four questions before I let you go. The first one is, you, I'm seeing it right now in your background. There, there are so many gadgets and and just uh, you know props from the set. Did you did you manage to grab one and just take it home, and or did you respect what the work they, they did? Did, you, did you, you kept something, right? I wish I did. I wish I could tell you I did. The last thing I wanted to do was get in trouble. Uh, my favorite thing to do is take pictures, and I even got in trouble for that. So um, <laughs> I I respected the set. I respected everybody's work. And um, I got to say, yeah, everything was uh, unbelievable. But, but what would have been something that you would have, would have loved to take them from the set? <laughs> I would have loved a suit. I probably would have worn that on the street um, or a pit boy. <laughs> one more question before I let, go, let you go. This is a fun one. If Rico would have, if Rico would be on Norm's shoes, how would he handle this situation? <laughs> um, I think... Uh, I think Rico has a false confidence. I think um, hopefully over these years he put on some weight to handle himself, but um, maybe he'd be a little cockier, a little more um, out in these in these fields. Well, thank you once again for everything, and I hope to see more in season two because I absolutely love what happened in the season one. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Bye bye.